Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be kind of a get ready with me, kind of a first impressions but not really kind of video. I don't really know. Um, I'm just going to be trying on a few different makeup products for you guys that I got when I was in Europe because homegirl went to Europe and that's why I haven't been posting for like two weeks because I had school and then I went to Europe for a week so it's kind of why I feel really bad but honestly I think that it's alright to get a little break every now and then. Um, I have a few things I want to talk to you guys about within the video but um, I want to get started with makeup and stuff because I want to post this video today so fingers crossed um, and I'll explain in a few seconds why that might not happen but hopefully it does. Um, I also have a little small list of things that I want to talk to you guys about. So yeah, let's just jump on into it. So first thing first, first things first, I'm just going to put on lotion and a primer, which um, is not anything crazy special. I probably could have even done this before I started to film, but I didn't. So yeah. Um, basically, where I've been... Uh, I already kind of said that, but also another reason why I've kind of been MIA with videos is because my PC was dying. It was just not holding on anymore, and I just, I couldn't edit anymore. I had Windows Movie Maker ever since I started videos, and it was just crashing every 20 seconds. Like, I wish I was joking. It was horrible, so slow. Um, it took me about six hours to edit um, a 13 minute video maybe, so it was crazy. So I finally got a MacBook Pro. I have it on the bed over there, um, but I got it right before I left for vacation. So there's no way I could film and edit and upload a video because um, I'm just very new to this whole thing. Um, so I'm not really sure how to use it yet. So if you're seeing a video, that's really impressive because kind of don't really understand um, what to do, to be honest. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, but hopefully I'll make it through. Um, also, uh, we'll keep talking in a second. I have this Catrice, um, or Cat Rice, I don't, I don't know how you say that, Cosmetics um, Color Correcting Prime and Fine Anti-Red Base. Um, so it's hydrating, all this fun stuff. I have red skin and I wanted um, a primer like that's red and that actually will work for a while. Almost got the NYX one, almost got the, who is it, Bobbi Brown maybe? Or Smashbox one I think. It's like, it's really green you guys. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, yeah it's like really green. So I'm hoping it works. I've used it a few times but... Um, like when I was in Ireland, I went to Ireland, that part of Europe, um, but I don't really know, like I wasn't really focused on it, obviously, because I was vacationing and stuff. I got tan, a little bit tanner, um, like DJ, <laughs> DJ Tanner, lol. Uh, so, yeah, I hope all this foundation and stuff matches me. I'm going to use a little bit more. It's because I really want it to anti-red my skin around here. Alright, so I just put that on and it feels really smooth. It's not like oily or greasy or I don't know, anything like that's super gross. It feels it feels really nice. So I'm hoping that it holds on to makeup and it already seems to be kind of um, getting rid of the redness I have on my cheeks. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, I'm going to move on now to the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Um, gel foundation. So it's 16 hours um, and yeah I've used this I think once before so I'm gonna do one full pump and go up from there maybe or not. I'm in I think the second lightest shade um, number 52 it says. Um, let's see I went to Ireland as I said so that was pretty cool. Um, I love oh my god I love Ireland I want to move there like right now it's gorgeous um, I love it. If you live in Ireland, please talk to me about it. Tell me how amazing it is. I just, I love it. I love, um, I loved Kilkenny. That was probably my favorite part of Ireland. Um, it was so cute. So small town. It reminds me a lot of, like, 
a small town. Um, oh, this is such a nice foundation. It kind of reminds me of like Boston or something. Uh, la, 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 putting on foundation. Huh. So let's see what else I have to talk to you guys about. Um, basically, the only other thing I have to say is I am partnered with Style Hall. Oh my god, it happened. It's finally a thing. I've wanted this. Like, I, it was kind of like a goal I had to get partnered with them. Um, and I'm super, super excited. I will link them down below if you're interested in kind of checking them out, seeing more about them, because I've been wanting to be with them, like I said, forever. And the only reason I found out about them was through other YouTubers. So I totally, I totally want to talk about them. And yeah, I'm super excited. I've been with them for about a month, I think. Um, and I'm still filling out, you know, extra paperwork and stuff. I'm not completely, um, done yet, but I already am so excited. Um, I'm, I'm so stoked. So if you have any questions about that, maybe I'll do, like, um, a full video talking about it, or I don't really know, you know, just something kind of talking to you guys about it, because I loved watching, like, um, style haul videos, or um, how to become a successful YouTuber or anything like that. I still watch those, um, like my favorite videos. So, yeah, I will definitely link that down below if you're interested. Um, so this is one layer of the foundation. It's nothing crazy for coverage, but I think I'm going to do a little bit more. Not a f Maybe like a half a pump, because this foundation has a pump on it, which is great. And I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do when I run out of it because I'm going to miss it a crap ton. Okay guys, so I, it might be a little bit of a different scenery because I don't remember where my camera was precisely. But I just put on like blush, eyebrows, my eyeshadow primer, um, which is the Lorac behind the scenes one. Um, Max Stay Pretty. My eyebrow routine will be linked below. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's all I just did. Obviously like concealer and all that stuff. My foundation routine will be linked down below even though um, I use a different foundation. You can see how I did my concealer. I'll link any relevant videos down below. If not, remind me and I'll be like, gotta do that because linking videos down below is kind of like an annoying thing to do, but it's so helpful. So I like to do it for you guys. So I'm going to take this Bourjois, I, th I think I'm saying that right, I don't know, um, bronzing powder filled with glints of sunshine and this is what it looks like. It looks like chocolate basically. I think this is the darker of the two. This is in number 52. Um, so I didn't actually know that they had numbers at the bottom, but when I compared the two, this one looked darker, so I went with it. I'm going to use the e.l.f. blush brush. Mine is very deformed because it came off the barrel, but that's alright. And I'm just going to kind of contour it out. And I've used this a few times, and it's so nice. I really like it. It's super natural too. Um, it's not gonna be um, too much. It's all, um, uh, I cannot speak. It's more on the orangey side. If I had to pick a side, um, I would say it's more orangey. But um, with summer coming up and stuff, I feel like that's all right. Um, it kind of gives your skin that natural glow. So I really love this product. And um, when I went bourgeois was. Um, two for 20, I think, so I was super pumped about that. I'm going to take the powder brush I used, um, which you guys didn't see, but that's alright, and just kind of bring them together. So we're going to do eyeshadow now, and I have this sleek palette, and it is in the shade, or it is the one in Storm. So I'm going to zoom in. Now it might go in and out of focus, but what else is new? Um, I hope it doesn't, but I think every time I blink it kind of like readjusts, so sorry honestly, but this is what the palette looks like. And I don't really know what um, I'm going to do. It comes with three mattes, which are the browns and blacks, and then everything else is a shimmer. Um, they had a few different ones. At the store I went to, it was 10 euros, so I, I jumped on it. Um, so I'm going to take just like a flat top brush right here, and I'm going to go in with this 
shade right here. Oh, the mirror is not working. Um, which is kind of like a rosy color. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. So that's that color. It's super opaque. Um, it's going to be kind of a simple look from what I'm getting the gist of right now. I don't really honestly know what I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to take this cranberry shade right here and I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going to kind of blend the two colors together, um, but I'm not going to bring the cranberry shade down too much, just kind of where they would meet, you know, as you would with normal shadow. So those are those two colors combined, and I think to kind of give a nice transition, I'm going to use a super crazy fluffy brush. Sorry, the camera will keep going in and out. It's not the best camera in the world. I'm going to take this shade right here, um, which is going to be kind of like a transition -y shade. I'm not going to put a lot on it, just a little bit, so I can really focus on just kind of softening everything up. Okay, so that's kind of the look. I'm going to cover this because I just... I don't know why. I feel like my, my camera, the lighting, just makes my skin look really gross. But it doesn't. It looks really cute. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to work with. I'm going to put a teeny tiny, teeny bit of this really cute, why did I do that like that? Highlight shade right here and highlight my inner corner. Okay, so that is the eye look. Now moving on, I got some little lashes. This is from Penny's. Um, or Primark, I guess. That's what my um, little Irish friends told me, that Primark is um, equivalent to Penny's. So it's from the PS Love Collection. It was uh, 150 euro. Is that how they say it there? I don't know. They're just little individual lashes. Um, so that's what they look like. Super gorge. And I'm going to put on a few of these today. Alright guys, so this is the final look. It's going to be a little blurry. Let's just zoom out, and then I'll show you guys a final look. How about that? Peachy, don't you love my messy room? I love it so much. So this is the final look. Um, the contour looks a lot more natural in person, so please ignore how harsh it looks on camera. And the eye makeup. I love it. I put a little bit of a blue color um, underneath the lash line, and I love it. So cute. So, um, I'm gonna go film some videos for you guys, and I'm so excited. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and thumbs up and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>